Oh, whoa, every time that feels weird. Hey, I'm Dylan John, the FCP Don, and like we do on this channel, let's cut out the fluff and jump straight into it. So we have this title that we want to be behind our subject here. And by the way, I'm disabling this clip just by pressing V on my keyboard. And so for this first method, all you're gonna do is take your clip, press option and drag up above your title. This essentially creates a copy of that clip. Then you're gonna head to your little magic wand icon here and select add magnetic mask or press the shortcut option command and M. From here, all you're gonna do is select what you want the text to be behind. So for this shot, we want the text to be behind her. So we're gonna do our best to just select her. You'll notice that it is selecting right in between here. So we just hold option and that's gonna allow us to deselect in this area in between her hands. And it surprisingly does a good job with knowing how to snap to the subject. And then go up to the top left and hit analyze. Once you go to the far right and you hit done, you'll notice now we have this nice title animation behind our subject. It's also important to point out if you masked out your subject and you're not happy with the edge of the mask, perhaps it's a little too gradual like in this instance, or maybe it's too precise and harsh, you can just hop into your inspector window, but make sure that masked out clip is selected and then just adjust the feathering. So if you slide the slider to the left, it's gonna bring that feather in. And if you slide it to the right, it is gonna bring that feather out. And a little fun fact, you can actually just push up on this parameter here and go to 200 and then push all the way down and go to negative 200. But for this instance, I think we're gonna get the best look maybe right about here. If we re-enable this clip, it looks a little bit better. Hair is very difficult, especially if it's puffy and fluffy and floofy. The mask will just have a hard time with masking out those tiny hairs on a person's head. But still, this is way better than the old method, which was using a draw mask tool and manually going in and making little keyframes and then moving those keyframes as that subject moved. So the fact that we have this now in Final Cut is legendary. You might be asking, Dylan, where do I get all these six stock footage from for my videos? I've been getting it from the same place since 2017, and that just shows you how much they keep adding to it and keep improving proving, but it's the sponsor of today's video, Artlist. So here is that first clip that we used in the example, and they obviously show you all the other different clips that were shot in that same sequence, but what's really nice is they added a similar footage section. And so Artlist has basically had AI look at that original shot, determine the lighting, the composition, what is in the shot, and it'll spit out different options for you for stock footage that match that clip that you like. Something else that has amazed me recently is when you look for stock footage, it'll also give you related sound effects for that stock clip. So for example, in this shot of this wildfire, it shows us sound effects that you can use for this stock clip right next to it. And if you're someone who uses TikTok or Instagram or you just make vertical content, they added a parameter in the filters tab that allows you to select vertical only videos and you can even select the duration of the videos. So if you want a video that's 10 to 15 seconds, you can just select that and it'll give you those vertical video options. All of these new features allow you to create better videos faster. So if you're wanting to try our list out for two months for free, I will put that link in the description. Thanks again to our list for sponsoring this video. It helps me to keep these free tutorials flowing. Let's move on to the next method. If you have a shot that has multiple people or things in your frame and you want the text to be behind all of those things, so for example, in this shot, perhaps we want this text to be behind these two guys right here. All we're gonna do is press option and drag the clip over top of our title. Either press the shortcut option, command, and M, or go to the magic wand icon and hit add magnetic mask and we're gonna make a selection of him first as best as possible, hold option to deselect the areas that we don't want, and then hit analyze. You might be thinking that the next step is to copy this clip again to mask out the guy that's twirling in this frame. But it's actually as simple as just heading up to this icon right up here that lets you add a new magnetic mask, then select your new subject here, perhaps press option to deselect in between his arm, and once again, it does a surprisingly fantastic job at snapping to what it thinks it should mask out. You may have noticed that it is picking up this lotus flower statue here. So if you really wanted to be precise, even though this would not affect the title, you can just deselect it 
and then retrack. And then all you have to do is go up and hit done and it is surprising how good this looks. Apple really crushed it with this new tool. Also a little trick to help you stay organized. You can actually rename these. So if you wanna select this as man number one, you just double click and then you can rename these to whatever you would like. I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting my Final Cut channel. It means a lot and I hope you have a great rest of your week.